Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've got my beads all strung up and knotted in between each. Uh, I didn't knot them in between these loose, these um, resin beads because the holes are too big and the knots just kind of slip right down inside of those bead holes. Um, but I did knot them um, in between all of these turquoise beads because the holes are nice and small for those. So now I'm to the point where I need to add some kind of clasp and finish this off. Uh, and for this particular project, I'm going to use knot cups. That's what these little guys are. It looks like a little clamshell with uh, two little loops on one end. Uh, and there's a hole uh, down on the bottom. So this is super easy. I'm just going to string my linen cording right through that bottom hole and pull the knot cup all the way down to the bead. Now I'm going to now I'm going to form an overhand knot. Now this is where it can get tricky because you have to get it right down as close as possible to the inside of that knot cup. Um, and with practice, you know, I've, I, I can pretty much do this easily, but uh, you might want to practice a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this very well, but I'm holding the knot cup and I'm pulling the thread and the, and the knot is forming right inside of my cup there. And now it is solid on my linen cording. I'm going to go ahead and trim it as close to the knot as I feel comfortable so I know it's not going to unravel. Um, wax linen cording has a waxy surface and the knots uh, generally don't come slipping up apart. So I've trimmed that off and now I'm going to just take my chain nose pliers or whatever and pinch that knot cup closed and now you can see it's it's all closed up. Now I'm going to add my clasp. I have a little lobster clasp and a little jump ring. I'm going to open up the jump ring, slip it through those two holes on the knot cup, and slip that onto the clasp. Get my other pliers here and go ahead and close that up nice and tight. Alright, I usually don't have that much problem closing a jump ring. There. Voila! My piece is finished on the end. It looks nice and professional. And I'm ready to go ahead and start stringing my other side of my necklace. I hope that was helpful. Uh, there's a lot of other things you can use to finish your linen cording. And I'll probably do some other... Um, tutorials to show you, uh, like for example, using these foldover ends. These work pretty well with probably th a thicker cording, uh, maybe even leather or um, a thicker ply linen cording might work with that. I don't know about four ply, it might be a little too small, but um, that's another option. And uh, and then there's, you know, regular knotting, like knotting your toggle right onto the cording, but I'll go over that in another tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for stopping in.